Hello, I'm Abby and welcome to part two of my modeling tutorial. So first I'm going to show you some just getting around things in Max. This character, as you can see, is already outfitted in some chain mail, or scale mail actually. Um, I'm going to be making this brigadine, which is this thing right over here. Um, so I'm going to be retexturing the character and also creating these arm and knee plates. So, because working with the scale mill is going to be distracting, I'm going to retexture the character. Here's the material editor. You press M to get to this material editor in Max. You can change the number of little boxes you see here. Um, and I believe that's somewhere over here. Um, see slots 32, 3 by 2, 5 by 3, 6 by 4. I have it on 6 by 4 because I've been um, working on quite a lot of different outfits and materials. So if you're doing something much simpler, you would probably do something like that so you don't have to deal with so many to look at. So this is the material that I apply when I'm working on a new thing. Now to apply the material you'd have to make sure that this box right here is um, on and then you press this. This means assign material to selection. So sometimes you'll see this if it's already a little bit confused as to what's assigned. Um, I don't really care so there we go. And I'll show you just real quick. I think this is the scale mail, so I could reapply that. You'll notice the head is messed up now. That's because I actually had two textures applied to this model. This texture and this head texture. I already mapped everything out. And I'm not going to go through that. I'll go through UV mapping in another lesson. For now, we're just going to deal with modeling. So, whoops, back to the plaid texture. <laughs> this plaid texture just makes it a little bit easier to add things to see where they fall. Now, on the keyboard, there's a lot of hot keys in Macs that make it easier to work. F4 is the hot key to toggle on and off the mesh very important when you're working in modeling. Alright, I'm going to start with the create panel which is up here. You see here that there are a lot of options in the create panel alone. You've got standard primitives, extended compound objects, particle systems, and so on and so forth. That's just for creating simple shapes. Then there's splines and nerves and all that kind of thing. There's lights, there's cameras, there's helpers, there's space warps, there's particle systems. To create just a new thing, I usually start with a box, a sphere, a cylinder, or a torus, or a plane. Um, I don't know why Max gives you a teapot. Um, cone is another good one. I don't usually use anything like a geosphere, a tube, or a pyramid. That's generally not necessary. Now when you create something in Max, you're given all these options as to how big it should be and the length, width, and height segments. And that will be the same for a sphere. You get radiance and then the amount of segments of the sphere. Because this is low poly modeling, I'm not going to give it hundreds of segments. That would be ridiculous. I'm I usually go with as many as I or with as few as I can get away with. So to make an arm plate for this, I think that the easiest shape would be a kind of flattened sphere to start with. And then I'll start molding it from there. So, I'm going to just, you, all you need to do is just drag in your viewport. For those who don't know, um, I'm using my middle mouse button and I'm holding down the Alt key to kind of rotate around like this. You can scroll in and out using the middle mouse button without holding down Alt. And you can pan by holding down the middle mouse button without holding down Alt. I can look at all four viewports and I'll be doing that a lot with modeling. Or you can 
toggle back. I'm using Alt W and Alt W to toggle back and forth here for a nice big close up. So I'm going to go ahead and create a sphere. Just dragging it in there. That's it. There's my sphere. My next step is I'm going to position the sphere along one of the arms. Now you notice that I'm just creating one arm band at the moment. That's because Max has this mirror button right over here. It allows you to mirror anything. So when I'm going to have something that's very similar to another thing or the exact same thing, I just do one and then I'll clone it later on or mirror it. 